The materials you will need will be canvas. You can either use a stretcher or canvas board. You can also use canvas paper if you have it available. An easel, it's not required, but it would make your life easier. Some tape, I would recommend painter's tape because we will be doing it along the border of our canvas. A water tub where you have water, a rag, a pencil, a palette or any kind of piece of plexiglass or plastic that you want to use. Even a styrofoam plate will do just so you can mix paint on it and then your paint. So I just put it in this container, but you can have the tubes as well. We're going to take a pencil and slowly just start drawing the shapes of your cactus or whatever object you have. So I'm doing circles since I'm doing a cactus. And then just start shading it in, sketching it in very lightly. Draw the details very quickly. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to quickly draw it so we know where to place the paint. Once you have your brush, you can go ahead and start looking at your object and decide what colors you need. Since my object is green, I'm going to go ahead and mix different shades of green to create different contrast. So I'm taking blue and yellow and mixing it to make green, but I'm also making a different shade. And I'm going to start by doing the object in the midground. And I'm drawing the horizontal line just so I know where, where my objects lie. Okay. And then I'm just painting vertical lines down because there's a fence behind my object. So you just first do the object in the midground because the very, very background is your sky or whatever is behind your object. Okay, so I'm going to just fill it in, fill in my fence, and wherever your object, your main object is going to lie, you don't have to necessarily paint that area because you're going to be covering that up with the color of your object. So like I left it here, I left it blank in the center. You can also do that or you can go ahead and fill it all in. I'm also using acrylic paint, which is prone to drying very quickly. If you're using oil paint, it will take longer. And if you're using watercolor, you need to be careful not to paint in on your white sections. So depending on what paint you're using, you need to remember the different techniques that, and methods that are useful for those painting styles. Okay, so once I've already painted my my background, I'm going to just start filling in my cactus with a slightly different shade of green because my cactus is almost the same color as my fence, but the fence has a little bit more of a blue to it. And I'm going to just change it a little bit so you can actually see my cactus. Otherwise, they're going to blend in seamlessly. So then once the, the objects are drawn, you can just start getting a dark color and do a very simple one stroke shadow on the side. That's what I'm doing to mine. I'm doing a shadow on the left side because that's how I see the sun is hitting it. It's hitting it on the right side and the shadows on the left. So you can go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to take some white with my brush or a light yellow. And then you can add the highlight on the side you see. I see it on the right side, and that's where I'm placing it. So just slowly blend it in. Be very, very precise, but also very gentle. Towards, this, towards the middle of this painting, I'm going to just take my brush and tap paint on it to give it texture. And once that's done, you can go ahead and Get another brush or clean your brush. Okay, and then you will start to darken up the background a bit. So my background is a little too close to mine. So I'm just going to add a little bit of a darker shade just so you can kind of tell them apart. And you don't have to do this to yours, but I'm doing it to mine 
If you find it useful, you can. Now that it's dry, you can go ahead and always paint over something you painted. If you made a mistake, just let it dry and then paint over it. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the remaining paint all across my painting, all through the center of my cactus. Okay, And then you can start to see that the cactus is popping up from the background. Once that's done, I'm going to paint in the object in front of my cactus. So there seems to be a planter. And it's like a rich mahogany color. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint that in as well. Remember your perspective. If you're looking at it from an angle, draw it the way you see it. Try to make sure your objects don't look flat. Try to give them volume and space because it was, this will also make them look very realistic. And then go ahead and fix anything you need to fix. Add highlights and shadows. And then once you're done with your foreground objects, you can also go ahead and draw any small details. So there's like these small little plants on the sides of my cactus. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw them in. I'm also going to take a dark green color and then start to scumble or like lightly brush in some shadows under my cactus. Okay, so just slowly, once the paint is already dry, you can go over it again, like I said, and just start to smudge in with your dry brush to give it some more depth, okay? And it also separates the sections of your object. So my cactus has very different sections because there are various leaves and sizes. And doing this will help you differentiate where those sections lie. Start by adding a bit more highlight. Once it's dried, you can always add more or take away or paint over. Whatever you want to do, if you made a mistake, as I said, you can always fix it. And then I'm just going to like lightly tap them. I want the highlight to be present but not too overpowering. So I'm just brushing it very lightly with a dry brush. You can get an even smaller brush and I'm going to just add little details. So my cactus has a lot of little prickly parts all over and like little spots. So I'm just going to slowly do that. And then with a very fine point brush, you can go ahead and add any details. Once you've already added the highlights and the shadows and the background and the foreground and everything, you can start working on the details. After that, I'll start adding in the very, very background, which is the sky. There's a blue sky behind my fence. So I'm just going to paint that in. Part of my fence is broken, so I'm going to just paint over that. And towards the very end, you can then start doing the details on your background as well. So in front of my fence, there is a chain link fence. So I'm going to just take a darker color and paint that in. So it's very visible and you can see it. I'm going to take a lighter color and then just give a highlight to those little stems that were on the sides because they seem to have been blurred away by my chain link fence. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of yellow to make them more visible. Okay, and then I'm also adding a little bit here and there on my cactus just to give it a little more highlight. And fix any minor details you might have forgotten, add any last minute things. And with that being said, you should be done.